Good afternoon, everybody. This is Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. For this beautiful, sunny, gorgeous Monday, I have for you video number two for my spring build of the uh, I Love Kit Merit 1350, 1350 scale HMS Arc Royal. Now, how I pronounce Arc, I made a very, very uh, bad mistake. I should have caught that in my last uh, video I made. It's Instead of A-R-K, A-R-K, it should be A-R-C. I, I should have known better. So please excuse me for that little club I did right there. For all you Puritans out there. <laughs> okay. Message was sent. Okay. As you can see, I got a lot done in this thing. The island is not, is, is not glued on. The deck ain't glued on. Thus far from last video, I've been doing a lot of sub assembly work. I got some stills on here, I think it is. So you get a better picture than what's offered on this webcam here. I ran into no fit issues at all in this kit. None. That deck fits like a snug and a bug and a bug. That thing is, it fits good. It'll have no fit issues. It's, it, the dry fits is perfect. You know, uh, Lindsay, Lindsay Models have built one of these. Like, I guess this gentleman, he's, he's inspired me into uh, building this, like building this kid. He does such a wonderful job on his. I've been catching up on a lot of videos lately that made up for you great model builders. Anyway, so Sir Lindsay, he had a, a, tro a troll, a troll problem. And uh, we all get those once in a while. Like I say, guys, the best medicine for these people is ignore them. but go away. Because they feed on you getting excited and getting pissed off and everything like that. I mean, these people got nothing better to do than just cause havoc for everybody, you know. And, and this is a wonderful community. This is the best community I've ever been in my whole entire life. And you get somebody like that with the best mustard things up like that. Avoid them, they're idiots. Just ignore them, guys. They'll go away. If you don't like them on your channel, just delete them off there. Just get rid of them. That's what I do. Okay, back to the dark oil, of course. Okay, got the hell all painted. As for the last video, as you've seen, red oxide was painted. And I masked up a boot stripe. And the whole hole was black. And I painted it gray. It's light and gray, guys. Uh, I found out, I did some research on the Arc Royal. Uh, she had two different paint schedules. This model here is 1939 during the sinking of the Bismarck. And uh, 1939, 1940. I think it's 39. Because uh, then during the Gibraltar Force H campaign they had, they were dark motion gray. Different. So you, I guess she went through a different, couple paint schedules. But this particular model is. Just per per instructions per box, as she portrayed back during the sinking of the Bismarck. I guess if it stills this, you'd be able to see this thing a lot more greatly than it is on here. As you look at those grays inside the hull, that you got to aim for. You control the color of those grays by using that black base I put on here. That weathering's pretty natural right there. I'll add a little bit of rust. I use oils this time. Not very much rust, just a little bit. Just enough to give a little a, 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 a taste of infinity. Okay, on this on these slides I got here, I got some assemblies here. I've got all these uh deck bays. I've got all the photo etches all. What I'm going to do with these here, I'm going to paint these black. The whole thing Negros. Don't paint out here because that goes, that's exterior. That goes, that's not, that goes inside your hull. But these plug these plug in flush inside your hull. So you, inside these bays right here, they resemble hangar bays, but they're not their deck bays. You got, you got all these boats now. These boats are optional. I was looking at some pictures of them uh, on, the, uh, on, on real footage on YouTube. They're all same color as the ship is actually a great color. Any woodwork 
make me finish on there. You, you, you add a little bit of brown tan on it. But that's got to be done before you put them aside here. So I'll go ahead and paint these most of the entirety because it was. It's during wartime. So I got all those deck bays all, all constructed and I got the PE in there. And, uh, It's going very nicely. The island is, is not glued on. It comes off. It fits quite snug on here. Let's see. There it is. There it is. Just pop the place. Deck goes on perfect. This thing has triple screws like the Titanic. I thought she had four screws, but she has three. Construction wise, like Jackie Gleason would say, how sweet it is. It goes together very, very nice. No fit issues, all fellas. I haven't ran into it yet. And right now, I'm doing a lot of sub assembly work, paint work, and everything. And you got to plan as you build. Everybody has a different form of construction on here. Some people like to paint individually and glue parts together. It's, it's, it's your style, it's, it's your signature. Don't be ashamed. Everybody has a signature. That's what makes the world go around. If everything was the same, we'd be as dull as plum pudding. I give you the typical Trumpeter Oriental Brothers stand again. It's pretty good. I found out if you don't paint these things, they 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 rest and bring us a long time. They don't. Uh, if you paint them, they cause they create pores inside the paint, and that absorbs a lot of dust. That just regular display it goes with the kit. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to put it no pencils on there. But I want to do a good job with my baby girl here, my Ark. She's a very wonderful ship. Uh, the more I study this thing, and I can see how we learned from the British. Because, like I said before, uh, uh, video number one, during the painting of the uh, masking of the hull, uh, the Ark Royal was the first modern day aircraft carrier ever built. Yes, sir. She led SWAT to us and to other countries. Because everything's closed in. As a, this thing was designed as an aircraft carrier from keel up to the flight deck. The ones that we had for the, for the, uh, uh, the Yorktown class and the Essex, these were all retro, retrofitted aircraft carriers made from different hulls. I mean, I, I imagine during the English got caught up in the Washington Treaty Program like we did. I mean, England, they had a lot of dreadnoughts, a lot of battle cruisers. They had more than we had, because they ruled the waves. They always would do rule the way, rule the waves. They had one hell of a navy. The Royal Navy was the navy to reckon with. They, they know the sea and they know how it works, and we learned from them. And uh, as we learned, the design of the aircraft carrier from the Ark Royal. We had Navy Draftsman working on an Essex class carrier, Yorktown class carrier. The only carriers that looked like they were really formed uh, as an entirety, the reason why is because they got caught early in the, in, in the construction before they built the old one levels and the, and the decks and the superstructures. The Lexington and the uh, Saratoga got caught up in the Washington Treaty Program. They said, well, how many goddamn dead, dead, dead nuts do we have? Battle crews, we got a bunch. We don't need any more of that. Now we got these airplanes coming out now, and they're they're venturing into into aviation. Now we got that Langley carrier. That's a good example there. Why don't we just go ahead and take these battle cruiser homes and cancel out of the battle cruisers and build them the aircraft carriers? They pondered on and says agreed, and they could draft them together, and they did. As far as the construction of the Saratoga Lexington, something about that was just hulls. The hulls are done. Then they start building up on the hull all the way up to the flight deck. I mean, as you can see, that's how the, the final result is that the retrofit did. So anyway, the Ark Royal was the first carrier, aircraft carrier, designed in entirety as an aircraft carrier. It was all closed in as an aircraft carrier. Her hangar bays were offset due to the island where the ship was built. I think they got concrete in her, in her ballast and her hull, too, I think. They used concrete in there for ballast. 
F cap carrier is very tricky because you get added weight to the soft center. That's why you got all the designers, they move things to ask you. They come on with flushing your bilges and fuel oils and such. You can maintain proper ballast of the carriers. These are very wonderful carriers. These things are very seaworthy. They can dip down about 50 feet and come right back up. They're, they're very, very, very seaworthy. And uh, the Arc Oil is a beautiful carrier. That deck's not even glued down there. It looks like it's glued in, but it's not. It comes off. I like to test dry fit and everything so some of you wise before I add the glue to it. That's a good tip, guys. Paint's light gray. It's light ocean gray. And boy, with that black background back then, you get that by, by controlling your airbrush, you can be able to control the hues of the grays. Because they were like that. Because all that salt water and all that good, it, whitens, it bleaches out that gray. We used to wash our uniforms over the side of the ship. We threw a line over the over the over the fantail and drag our our, our gabardines, our whites, our blues. And they come out nice to, almost like a ship, nice and salty. The weathering on the arc on, on the arc royal well, would be very subtle on it. It'll be some rust, not very much. Because I've been watching a real, real research of the actual footage of the ship. And I, I, I uh, discerned a lot of details. I got some nice slides coming up. We're going to show those right now. And uh, we'll get back to me. And I got mail call after this video. And I think you guys will be interested in this one. Okay. Feast your peepers on the slides. That'd be back to me at the slides. There you go, fellas. Hope, hope you guys like those. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and do is, like I say, I'm going to go ahead and prime these things over with black. Go back over with gray and install the same. But before I do all that, I'm going to make sure that these things are all painted. So like I said, they're painted. I'm going to go ahead and install all these bays inside the uh, the hull first. We close it up. I got the forecastle deck and the stern deck I got to put on there. Uh, the, the poop deck and the uh, and the folks deck has got to be painted in, uh, in there first before I close to put this deck on it. Decks will be the very last thing I'll put on this thing. Because much of everything else not left on this thing is fitting out with pieces. So they all got to be struck. I got to make pom-poms. They're going to make guns. And I got to make uh, 
uh, mass and all the PE that goes with it. That's going to be the time to go right there. But the fast part of the the, 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 the main thing is the, the construction of it, the paint work is it's there. So anybody's got one of these in your stash, don't be fast, you'll build it. You find out there's a bridge life the kit that goes together. There's no fit issues, but there is filler involved. The only, play, only filler there is, is is on the bottom of the hull. Because you got these little support these little support brackets that fit inside your the strengtheners fit inside your hull. And I think they're they're not uh I think they they only go so far, that's about it. You can't close the hole anymore. There's because they stopped it from doing that. I guess the only way you can be able to get away with that is don't put them in, but you have to have them in there. This thing's got to have some kind of integrity. It's, it's a sizable model. And uh, it's a beautiful ship. Okay. If you don't have one, you just dash, buy one. Uh, they're, they're less than $200. I think I paid about 150, 160 for mine, maybe 170, somewhere around there. I can't remember where I bought it from. I may have got the Spree Brothers. I, I rightly don't know. But uh, it's better than Trumpeter. I give them thumbs up, man. Both thumbs, both thumbs in the air. For that flight deck. Now that's a good flight deck right there. What's so good about the Ark Royal's flight deck is it's not wood, it's all it's all metal. And uh it's painted all gray color. It may be wood, I don't I don't know. It's probably it's probably is wood. But they're all painted like a dark gray color. They weren't painted uh dark uh non specular sea blue like ours was, deck blue. The Norfolk Sea Blues. They kept it simple. Dark dark gray, I got to paint that right here is the Harbor range. Paint number one, two, three. That's dark sea gray. So that'll fit pretty good on the deck. All sword fish torpedo bombers. Their dream come true. Once we fit the scale about like that. They even got PE for the struts and the rigging. Man, that's a plus right there. That's more of a chopper gives you. So I'd rate this thing from one to ten. I give it a nine. And I'm being very generous. A nine and a half, no more. The key ingredient that makes your models fit more good is make sure that your parts are cleaned, file boarded, trimmed with a with a, with a number eleven blade. Because I'll tell you, we get the little dubs sticking up like that. They interfere with fit of parts. That causes that causes alignment issues, and pretty soon it just goes on, on, and on, all thrown up. There's just a piece of flash you did not you didn't uh, trim off. I got these little bridges across there. You got to watch out for those. So you got to step those off. Take a file board. File it flush. Make sure it's all it's cleaned up and it goes together very well. That deck fits on like a glove. I mean, I just, unbelievable. If a guy really wanted to uh, build a hangar deck, I mean, you can do that easily. Oh, yes. A lot of research, plans, and everything like this. You got a blueprint for something like this. You can actually build a whole stick skeletal structure from the blueprints. And that deck will snap on there. You pull that deck off like that. You can see all your beautiful work in there. That shows you how good it is and how well this deck fits in there. So Sir Lindsay and Lindsay Models will be pulling. That deck fits on very well. It's not even glued on. It just snaps on. Unbelievable. Decks are very critical on aircraft carriers. You got to make sure they fit on perfect. You don't want no gaps and stuff, you know. Okay, I'm out of here. I got a mail call video coming up after this, and you'll like what I got going on here. Okay, uh, that's about it for video number two. Video number three will come out in a couple of days. I'll have some more progress doing, going on. I'll have these all painted. By then, I'll have these all painted up. Oh, yes, here's a tip. On your photo etch right here, I used to do that before, but I found out that's that's... You got no room at all to adjust things, and, and you're fighting all the time. You put ACC glue on there, a twilight, twilight glue, and you really want to get some of those, some of that fall over. They won't stick too good. They'll tell you to fill it with it. You got it on your hands. They'll stick your hands and everything like that. The best solution is is take some, get some snot glue here. They call it snot glue. I just call it tube glue. 
and just add a small beam to that and add your railing on there and let it dry. When it dries, it'll go back over to JCC. You got to have grab ass and you can seal the deal with ACC. This is grab ass, boys. I ain't talking about grabbing ass, so I'm talking about some kind of something, something it'll stick to. And I'll fill the bill. That's just a tip right there. Okay, I'm out of here. Is that the Lark Royal? Is it for me? Stay tuned for the live, for the, uh, the box review and the uh, milk call video coming up. So you guys don't want to miss that one. Okay, this is Frankie Day. Frankie Day, your model signing off. Make mama happy. Take care of the little babies. Take care of yourselves. God bless you all. I love you fellas. Focus when you drive. Be aware of your surroundings. Spend wisely. It's getting warm out there. Weather's starting to change. Time for barbecue, outdoor activities. And uh, enjoy. When it's all done, get yourself a kick. Get kicked crazy like Stu Avery says in uh, Stu's Models. And uh, enjoy. It's made for the living, fellas. It's made for the living. This is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Models signing off. Thank you again for my wonderful subscribers, my viewers, my new subscribers. God bless you all. I love you, fellas. And thank you very much. God bless you all. We'll catch you on mail call. We'll see you, boys.